prayer so we have many powerful people who do not have the requisite level of spiritual intelligence to overcome the evil that comes with the day very anointed but there is a bankruptcy of spiritual intelligence then the bible talks about the wisdom of god that comes from the word of God are we together now there are people who neglect the ministry of prayer and they have the wisdom of God when you listen to them you will hear intelligent truths but the power to defend that proposition is not there they can tell you what God can do they can tell you beautiful things I know this God I'm serving and show you mysteries after mystery but when the time for performance comes the grace to make what they have said become flesh is no longer there are we learning remember what we are dealing with I hope we are still together that we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and to the ministry of the word that both ministries there are two distinct kind of anointings that must be derived from those ministries and they are equally important for the maturity and the excelling of the believer can I tell you the disaster that we have in church today respectfully is largely as a result of these imbalances when it has to do with the power dimension it is usually the apostolic and the prophetic ministry and because power seems to have a, char a charismatic quality usually people just submit themselves to prayer and they do not understand doctrine and the soundness of the word as a result many supernatural things happen within the ministry but with it will come various shades of error. For instance, calling somebody's wife a witch because of prophecy. You see, you, you may be, by reason of prayer, your eyes have been opened to see spiritual things. But the word bank that interprets it to align with scripture is not there. So you will keep bringing a lot of confusion in interpretation. Because what you saw was correct, but your interpretation was wrong. It depended on your word bank, which is not there. Are we together so God can open my eyes for instance prophetically by reason of engaging in the ministry of prayer and I can see maybe a coffin and see someone's name written there now it is true what I saw is a revelation of what Satan wants to bring to that family it now depends on my knowledge of scripture to prove the dominion of the power of God over that situation if all i know is prayer i will interpret it the way i saw oh god i just saw you you are dying because that is the limit of what the power of god can do but if you understand that the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy that means in anything prophetic you do it must testify about jesus there must be that life-giving component in what you are saying it will now alter my interpretation of that experience in a way that demonstrates the victory that is in Christ there is no limit to the casualties we will keep having in the body of Christ as a result of choosing one or the other of these ministries on the other hand you may have people who have that wisdom they will build intelligent systems but the sick will remain sick the oppressed will remain oppressed People will come and sing and share the grace and everybody will say God can do it there's sickness in my body oh he's a healer oh this chapter this verse this this chapter this verse this and the demons are sitting at ease and joining the service too because the power that takes them is not there can I tell you it is very dangerous to know what should be and not have the power to make it happen sooner or later members will get tired that is the truth like it's happening in many many assemblies right now to the point that when we men of God now say lift up your hands for blessings members know that look I'm used to this your talk wisdom there is no power I don't doubt the truthfulness of what you are saying 
but can I for God's sake have a testimony that becomes a consolation to all you are saying are we together the danger of the prayer ministry without a sound word based is all shades of error that largely comes because of the prophetic inclination of the ministry of prayer for instance in the place of prayer God can give me an instruction and say Joshua Selman for the next five years you are not going to have more than two cars that came to me by prayer it is my personalized dealing with God if I do not understand the character of scripture I will turn that unique instruction into a doctrine and force all the members that anybody who has more than two cars you are walking in error based on my experience and what is largely destroying the body of Christ is we are converting personalized dealings and instructions into that is wrong you see if I come up with that template it is only the person who is called into the apostolic or the prophetic ministry who would benefit from the template I'm giving the person who is now called to be a politician and a businessman he will feel intimidated because it will look like he's not serious with God let me teach you something you see when you are building people holistically by the ministry of prayer and the word are we still here I hope I've not lost you the word of God gives a general ground for growth but as you begin to grow based on whatever your destiny is in Christ the Holy Ghost begins to allocate your own customized training the way he will train an apostle and a prophet is not the same way he would train a politician it's not the same way he, are you getting me now so I cannot say my template and my experience must be the Alpha and the Omega of how growth should be no God is training a young man see if God is calling me to be a prophet chances are you will find out that although we may start in the same prayer group or we may start in the same church as time goes on we will diverge to different unique dealings for the man who will later be a prophet you will find out that something will start changing in his appetite he can go for a 50 days fasting and not even know why there is an energizing upon him by reason of what he will be doing a businessman may not have that kind of engracing and now the businessman will be intimidated because he is forced to subscribe to the template of the prophet if we do not bring wisdom to the body of Christ believe me when I tell you this people will keep pretending until we lose our stand spiritually the power of God and the wisdom There are some of